In this lesson, I want to explain an interesting deformer called shrink wrap. The shrink wrap is the first use of the shrink wrap is to <clears throat> the shrink wrap deformer is to changing object to another object. For example, this is sphere inside to the dead cube. In a cube, in a basic tab, I active the X-ray to uh, see through the, the cube. And I want to uh, deform that sphere to that cube shape. So the important part in this mode is make sure that uh, the cube cover a whole sphere. So for sh make sure that we make it some bigger to cover all and the sphere is exactly inside the cube. So I want to deform the a sphere, the topology, and the segment of the uh, primary object is very important. So select that sphere as before, hold shift, and click on a uh, shrink wrap. The shrink wrap makes child of the sphere and go to the position of that sphere from word direct position to that. So in a shrink wrap, sitting is going to the object tab and we have to identify the target object. The target object is Q. As you can see, the sphere with these strengths, you can change it to the that Q. But what is the problem? In a mood, we have something called aligned normals. You know the, what is the normals. The normals are the line that are perpendicular to the that surface. And this surface going that direction, travel, travel that direction, to the maximum distance that you specify here and going going and hit the target object here and snap to that when you increase slider strength slider but what is the problem because we have for example low segment you can change a segment but if you <coughs> change strength as you can see it's better but it does not fit the cube because the topology of the two objects is important that are similar to each other okay going to the sphere and change the topology to hexahedron yeah the hexahedron as you can see it is uh, the topology of that is like <coughs> the cube as you can see for example this point here can match exactly that so we test it going to the shrink wrap and as you can see it's exactly fit to the cube so in this example i want to show you what is the mathematical uh, operation behind the shrink and the topology of uh, target and the primary object is very important that uh, similar to each other but the main benefit of the shrink wrap is this example. For example, we have a model and I, we want to wrap it model on that surface. For, for curving the model, we have to go into the point mode and curving like this, but we cannot doing the exact uh, bending with a target. For doing that, we can use that <coughs> deformer. For uh, I want to deform that plane, so I assign the shrink wrap deformer to that, holding shift and click on that, and its target, I target that sphere here. Click and drag it, and as you can see, it wrap on that. And here you can understand what is the the shrink wrap is doing here what is as you can see in here in this normal for example in this polygon it travel align it's normal and hit the target object and uh, identify that and going uh, through that surface and match to that as you can see we match that object exactly that. but those normals the normals are perpendicular, the line that perpendicular to that surface go perpendicular down and 
uh, does not meet any surface of that target so that for those polygons the wrap um, shrink wrap does not work so for doing that we have to uh, change the size of the our object to fit the target object and as you can see it fit automatically on that and you can use a lot of modeling with that or after that you can holding alt as i said before click click to hide your target or you can do an, lots of animation ideas with that okay the another benefit of that is for example going oh sorry for example if you um if you bring your model uh, very up and for example here you can reduce the distance as you can see the shrink wrap deformer does not work because this distance is very uh, long number because for example 100 centimeter goes down and stop and does not meet the target object so you have to make sure that the distance is enough as you can see it's go and fit to that <laughs> for example this object making here and as you can see for example those polygons are wrapped around the object and as you can see it meets the uh, surface of that and does not miss it so it completely wrap on that target object holding shift and assign the shrink wrap deformer to that and to the target object select that sphere and as you can see it completely fit to that but i want to explain more as you can see in align normal mode because of bending that normals uh, imagine that this bending here it goes travel in this way so our object will be uh, some maybe some smaller it become smaller as you can see but if you change the mode to the target axis it's try to maintain the main topology of the prim primary object as you can see but if you select it along normal because of that normal are in a bending mode they are as you can see are rotating in this direction going in this direction going this direction make this object smaller than what was it so you can change target and do like this or after that hiding the target object and after that you can give this object holding alt to subdivision surface as you can see you can do a lot of things here so we did with this deformer we can wrap a lot of model on another model and bending them and change our way to modeling okay this is shrink wrap deformer hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.